after her being from the portal. She says, I'm not What a power open button. Chris shot. She stood. Oh, break off the top of the net, 11. That first game would happen the way it did. So we are watching something that right now, it's always exciting when the unexpected 11 to four in game one will. It's difficult when you're when you're a favorite sometimes in front of your home crowd and everyone expects. Timing again right off the bounce for Drink Hall to put that one away. Sorry, you were saying though. So I do feel for Paul in this position. He's going to show his, got to show his mental strength here to to come back in this match and to. That was very close for a moment. I thought it might have caught the edge, but you could tell by the body language that that was not the case. Very well played though from Saleh. I mean, he came back in to seize the lobbing. He's moving side to side while you're backing up. Watch his feet here. He's still moving back. His feet hadn't come down yet. Didn't give him a chance to cover the. I think he's come in and he's he's been so professional. He's used all of his experience to make this a game. You can see how focused he is. To extend the lead. Still doesn't have a game. Looking to take this one. Does not want to be down 0-2. Not the way Saleh is. I think versatility is the name of the game for the underdog sometimes. And in this case, again, with experience. Maybe the, the favorite to, to, to get a good start. Because you find yourself. There's more danger that he could lose rather than a best of seven match. Four. Please. Oh, second bounce. Skylob comes down. Once again, Drinkall plays it wide to the four. forehand to take four. Again, if memory serves, it was only four points for Paul Drinkall in the first. Look how much he had to elevate to get on top of that ball, but still had to watch the bounce to make sure he knew where it was going. Starts to leave, starts to leave the ground, and then the ball kicks. It's trouble. All of his experience. Nice. Flips these. Slipped up in the corner. Beautiful parallel shot from Paul. Serve. The angle he. I believe that last set that Paul won wasn't such a bad set for Saleh. This game. After the game, I go and see those guys. Good serving from Paul. And serve has to be jamming somebody, right? If not jamming, that crossover point in the middle. Four. <laughs> I was like, what's this? Is he carrying a yoga mat on his chest? Oh. It's Saleh within one here on the receive. From the development and the evolution of the game, a backhand seems more important. And it used to be, and this is part of the saying, how can we make sure that we can play both sides of the table, forehand and backhand, and now you have reverse pen hold backhand. As, as you said, it's kind of a dying breed, I think. Four. He's got an MS, and he said, you know, the most important thing about my game, I said, how do you, how do you keep playing at the top level? He said the most important thing is skill, and now it is six game points for drink hall. And everything changes. He forces you to play a different game. And that's why we love this factor. Well played, some pace off the bat. Back for game number four. Paul Drinkhall leading two to one here on the short side, the near side of the table, I should say. Not to be confused with the shorter distance.
chop, much like that of the World Championships in 2015, and then a chop the other way. Look at this, the ball bouncing back to the forehand. Who beats Paul Drinkhall like that, let alone the number three player from Egypt? Hashtag respect Saleh. And finally, the drill is stopped. Two, one. Well, I love it. There's the short. Specific in his drive to stay on top of the bounce. Hey, it's control early, and you're going for every single ball. I love it. Again, the before I'm still playing Pokemon. Come on! Paul Drew bench on their feet, screaming and shouting. I love being part of the team. That fast long serve deep with a two point lead. Whether it's side spin or kick, under spin like we saw before, or even just a slightly flatter ball, it does affect the jump on the bounce. Oh, beautiful play. Really well set up from Paul here. I think there's definitely been a tactical change from Saleh. Do you feel there's more pressure on each ball? To play a forehand on his backhand side. Five, eight. For me, the Left. Five. Oh, and a service error, the pressure. Five. Forcing really Paul to keep his serves tight, and that forced him into an error, really. To see that clip somewhere on the social medias. Left. Within Africa, of course, Egypt, as I mentioned, is the China of Africa. In terms of table tennis. I call him Sir Allen. Big Seven. point here. And sometimes a softer block with less spin is effective. And Saleh Eleven. takes it 11. Here we go, game number five, the decider, and it starts wow. off for Saleh. Got to, got to get a good start to this fifth end, I think. Great angle from the Egyptian with that first point, though. Beautiful rally, and this is... So much feeling! Three. I'd say develop a good position, good stance early in the rally. I, th I think what I meant by that was... Uh, I shouldn't have put any guilt on you for it. Big point for... Trouble to read this. Look at the change of placement. Comes down, softer shot. This is so, I mean, really to turn down the speed against the lob like this, very few players do this consistently and effectively. Look, it's like a 60% smash, watch. Looks like he's gonna hit it hard, says, eh, here's a soft one. Smart is there, and he can move well, you know, he's moving really quickly at times for his size, you know. He Was five points in the lead. I think these serves are very important. Gets caught up just a little bit on mission to clean the table, say there's sweat, not be warned to play right after. Ooh, big points. Points to go still for Saleh and four points between them. Paul Drinkall saying he's stalling. Not liking it. We don't see Paul Drinkall complain much, but he definitely needs all the focus he can get right now. And you understand why Saleh wants to make sure he's very focused here. Doesn't let go of the lead. Misses the contact to Saleh for changing it up and putting this pressure on him, but Drinkall's quite uncomfortable right now. Yeah. 
Jackson time. That is the most for Will. Yeah, he, he is very frustrated <laughs> because, you know, it's, you've got to give it the Egyptian credit, though. I mean, he's played really well, and well, I love Paul. I think he's a top man. And I think he's frustrated because he's completely understandable. A frustrating experience to be outplayed here when you're heavily the favorite. That's superb from Paul. Come on, mate. We will see. This would be a huge win for Saleh. And now he has five. Incredible for Saleh. Five match points. Not yet in England as well. Now the serves on the side of Saleh. And it will not come down. Ahmed Saleh takes down Paul Drinkall in front of the home crowd. A flicker of hope for Egypt. What a performance. 38 years old. If you didn't know Ahmed Saleh, you might.